it's pretty much the same look as the pound dollar I'm sorry the pound yen you see the the look at the, I want you to see the that's why when we do the indices in first gives us a telltale look at the dollar yen look at the daily chart see that then look at the euro yen again you got positiveness coming in it's not different but it is a buy signal still on the Aussie yen now look at the pound yen that's a sell signal that's based on the weakness on the pound and also the same thing as with the Aussie so having said you can see now that this is how we gauge the strength and weakness and but still we need to always have a what if scenario so in this case looking at the intraday chart we have a brilliant setup this is a beautiful chart right there you have uh, all this and now you have the setup over here so this is brilliant and you got the the 8147 above the 8140 so that is excellent so my buying point wow and look at from last week it is one and the same that's that's good so we're just gonna move it seven ticks to the upside and my selling point is going to be below 8050 my short is going to be 8050 all right and my structure long in this case is the 8140 so i'm going to leave it the same my structure short is the 7943 is still the same and if i buy it at 8147 I will definitely put my stop below 81.22. This is easy. And if I'm going to go short below 80.50, my stop is going to be above 81. Okay. That is the Aussie yen we're going to buy above 8147 and if I do I'm placing my stop below 8122 and my structure long oops there's something wrong here 8140 it is 8140 so. okay let me correct it so nobody gets confused I'm going to leave this as 8040 it's one and the same because your long point should be always up before your structure long. So I'm leaving them as the same. And my stop is going to be 81.22. The short is going to be 80.50. My structure short 79. My structure short is 79.43. And my stop is going to be the... 81. Okay, thank you, Kamel. Good night. Okay, and that is the Aussie Yen.